Hello, my name is Brian. In this video, we're going to look at uh, uh, when you are having a problem receiving a code from um, from PayPal. You may be trying to, uh, there may be different scenarios, like you may be logged in like me, but maybe you're trying to verify your line, okay? You're trying to verify your line, but the code is not coming. Or you may be maybe creating an account. You're creating an account, you're creating a people account, but actually you're stuck on the code doesn't come on your phone, okay? Or it may be you're trying to pay something, you're trying to pay something on a, on a certain website, but when you're trying to check out, they're trying to send you a code on your phone, but the code is not coming, you know? Uh, so um, we're going to look into all those scenarios and see how you can sort them out. Each one has a different solution. For example, if you're trying, if I have my account and I, want, I just want to verify my line, I added my line, but I'm not having a code. You go to your settings, you go to your profile settings, uh, go to where you put your number. This is a personal account, but if it's a business account, I think you have to click on uh, 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 settings, then uh, I think something like business settings or like profile setting. But whatever it is, you go to your settings, find where you put your number. Okay, it's here, I have one number. So if you can't get a code on this line, just add, you try to add that line again. But when you're adding it, try to add it three times. Add it as a mobile, add it as a work, add it as a home. You just use the same line, same line throughout, okay? So that is adding your one line, but you're adding it as a mobile, you're adding it as a work, you're adding it as home, okay? Now you add the numbers, then when you try to verify the line, uh, PayPal will send that code to your phone this time. The reason that works is when sometimes PayPal is sending a line, I think uh, it may be sending it to, uh, to uh, maybe work. Now remember, if you're not working, uh, Maybe it's only time for work. They I don't know their allegalism. Maybe it may fail to go to, go to the work line, but it's better if your line is set in all these categories at once, okay? Uh, most cases, sometimes when people are setting up their PayPal accounts, when they put the number, PayPal uh, access, sometimes just puts it as a home line and sometimes it puts it as a work by default. You get sometimes it puts it as a mobile, but it, it's say I think it's safer if you put it as a mobile by default. So sometimes some people's telephone lines are set as as work. So when you're trying to get a verification code, paper doesn't have a line to send to the mobile. So to be on the safe side, you set your nine three times on work, mobile, and home. That is it. Okay. Yeah. So that will work. Then uh, if you're having issues, maybe you're trying, so that will work for someone who is already logged in and is trying to verify his account, but he can't, he can't do it. So that will work. Then there's someone who is maybe trying to uh, sign up, okay? Uh, someone is trying to sign up. Uh, let me first log out. You're trying to create an account, but when you try to sign up, uh, you, you're having an issue getting the line. So you can't actually proceed because there's no way to do, okay? Let me try it out here. Let me just click on sign up. When I click on sign up, uh, okay, personal, let me get started, okay? So when I click on, on started, so they can, uh, you usually ask to, to put uh, a country, okay? And uh, whatever the country is, let me just put, uh, let me just put, uh, let me try to put US, okay? When you do get started, uh, paper is going to tell you, okay, uh, you live in US, put a line, uh, then you put a line, okay? But the problem here is when you put a line, then you click on next, paper is going to try to put, send a code to this line, but somehow you're not getting the code. 
you know, you're not getting the code and uh, you have airtime. Actually, by the way, before I proceed, you have to be sometime with some airtime on that line. Uh, just a basic uh, airtime for enough for an international SMS, okay? So if you don't have airtime, sometimes that's a problem, by the way. So, but I'm assuming you have some airtime on your phone. Uh, your phone is not full. Like, uh, uh, like your SMS, sometimes actually a phone can get full, by the way. So you can try to look into that, but it's rare to have your phone. If you have been receiving SMS, uh, payments SMS, or no more SMS from your friends, so I don't assume your phone is full. Unless you have been experiencing a problem with that, maybe someone sends you an SMS and you don't get it then maybe your phone is full. But if you've been receiving SMS, then that one is ruled out, okay? I assume you have uh, some airtime, okay? So if you're not still getting it uh, on, the call, on, on your phone, whatever, maybe my um, iPhone or Android, what you do, uh, uh, you go back to the setup, okay? Now this is possible if you're using, this is much more easier if you're using a computer or a laptop, when you are doing the account setup, okay? So I would do like sign up. Uh, when I do on sign up now, if you if you, if the SMS has failed to complete it to come on registration, what you do, you ignore the personal account, then you just do as a business. Because with business account, you can put the number they don't put, but they don't put, they don't send an SMS code, okay? They usually use an email. So you can use an email instead of a phone. Uh, traffic lights, let me just uh, answer this code. Oh, okay. Verify, okay. So, um, so the trick is on sign up. Don't use the person, use the business. Business, they're going to send a code to email. So you, you will avoid issues with the email. So, when you use the business, they're going to ask you last name, first name, last name, email, and telephone, sorry, and password. So it means you won't, so it means you won't need to, you put the telephone line. You can put the telephone line in after this first setup, but you won't, it won't be mandatory. And the code is going to be sent to your email, not your telephone. So that's the good news, okay? So that is the second option for people who are having issues when you're creating an account. Uh, the third scenario is when you're trying to pay, okay? You're trying to pay for something online, uh, maybe, uh, uh, I don't know, you're on eBay or you're on uh, Amazon, and you're trying to buy uh, software or something. And unfortunately, PayPal is like, you know what? You put, uh, you put, uh, you put your code, uh, like when you're, when you're trying to finish a payment, PayPal can try to tell you like, put a code. Uh, I would have tried to buy something from uh, a certain site, uh, certain site, but okay, I'm not going to buy anything. But when you're trying to buy something and the people ask you for a code, what you do, you first don't don't uh, don't close everything. When when I'm showing me like this is on like, okay this is on my checkout. You know I'm checking out with PayPal. Okay, I'm checking out with PayPal like on the last part. You leave that tab uh, and just go to another tab within the same within the same browser. You go to PayPal. First login into your PayPal. Okay. The trick is you first log into your PayPal. After you logged in in another tab, you go back here where you wanted to do the checkout, the final part where they asked you the number, close that pop-up, then you try to pay again. Now this time when your website senses that you are already logged in, it won't ask you for that, to verify your code. Wow, <laughs> that is a quick fix, all right? I wish I could, I had the live site I could demonstrate, but let me try it again. Like, let me, let me say you on a website, you're trying to, you're trying to uh, buy something, you know, you're trying to buy something, you're on the last page of checking out, you have logged in into, usually you, they will tell you like, log into your PayPal, you log in within that pop-up, then you say next, 
then people will tell you like want to send you a code, but the code won't be coming, okay? So it means you first cross that pop-up, only that pop-up which was asking you for the, for the number, then you open another tab, log into your account. After logging into your account, you go back to the website, that tab, that section where you're paying, try to check out again, you know, remember you already ordered the stuff. So go back to your order, try to check out using PayPal. When the website senses that you are logged in into PayPal, PayPal also won't ask you to send a code. So automatically, when you put in your password, the transaction will be made. That is a quick fix for that. So we have looked at two, three areas so far. When you're registering your account, make sure you use the business account to ignore, to get the code via email instead of telephone. Two, if you're trying to, if you're already logged in, you're trying to verify your um, PayPal account, just add the number three times as a home, work, you know, and the other option, it will work for you. Then if you are trying to, another hard scenario now is, okay, those are three, three things. Verify your nine when you're already logged in, when you're trying to sign up. And also, uh, what's another option you have looked at? Um, you know, try, when you're trying to pay for something, okay? All right. I think those are two. Okay. The third one will be uh, uh, the hardest part is when you're trying to log in. Okay. Like you're trying to log in, but you can't get a code. All right. Uh, let me try to, let me try to, let me try to. Uh... Okay. So another will be when you're trying to log in and uh, PayPal asks you to sign in. Now that is a hard issue. Uh, like you're trying to log in, but the password is correct, the email is correct, but PayPal is insisting to send you the code on your phone. And when you try to initiate it, the, the code is not coming. Now in that scenario, if you can, the first thing, if I was you, like you try to log in from a device you, you usually use, okay? If that one doesn't work, the last option will be you try to contact PayPal. Okay, now remember you can't sign in, but we have a video where you can contact actually PayPal uh, without signing in. So that would be a result for you. You can try to contact PayPal without logging in, or you can just call them. But assuming maybe um, you don't want to call them, you don't want to call them. Uh, there's a video which we made for how to contact PayPal without actually signing in. Uh, that will be a quick fix for you because they can sort you out when they are on chat, okay? Um, I think it's this, okay? How to contact PayPal if you can't log in. So this video can work for someone who is stuck. Uh, they're asking for a code, but you can't, you can't log in. So this video will work for you. But people usually ask you for your address. So before you contact them, know that you have your address. Okay, so that is it. Uh, please leave a, a, a comment below if, uh, if you find uh, this video uh, important to you or it has helped you in some way. I really appreciate to hear from you. Otherwise, uh, happy new year. Bye-bye.